uh, Stephen, I think the second one where maybe Alshon maybe didn't run the right route. What happened on the other three interceptions? Uh, you know, the first one we had, we called the cover one play, and I actually talked to uh, the guy that picked it off number 19 afterwards after the game, and he said he just recognized the play and came off his man. Uh, the third one that I threw towards Vandy's side, uh, sideline to Alshon, uh, should have just ran it. You know, I talked to Coach Max, he ran it through out of bounds. Uh, and that last one, <laughs> talked to Alshon right afterwards, and he thought I was going to run it right there by the goal line. So he turned around, and the next thing you know, he sees the ball in the air. And, Tries to catch it, so it's that's how it happens. But thankfully, our defense played you know unreal tonight, so you know it didn't hurt us too bad. Stephen, is this maybe one of the more frustrating wins you've been a part of here? Uh, not really. Um, you know, a win is a win. I mean, if we would have lost, I mean, hell yeah, it would have been very frustrating. But you know, a win's a win, and that's all that really matters at the end. Stephen, any idea why the offense has seemed to have struggled in the first quarter so far this year? Uh, not, not really. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, you know, we've had our chances. You know, we've missed them. Uh, you know, I talked to Coach right after I think it was our first possession. Uh, you know, we had a cover two post to uh, D'Angelo, and you know, I just missed him and threw it to Lattimore uh, underneath. But you know, it's just plays like that. We just got to start making them and start hitting them. Steve, this team's had a lot of lucky bounces so far this year. Talk about the one you had where you threw it up to Alshon and it ends up in Ace's hands. I'll take luck over talent, you know, any day. You know, as, you know, as Coach Burr says, the football guys are looking down and smiling down on us. So, you know, uh, those plays, you know, it's just they usually haven't happened for us in the past, but, uh, you know, they've been happening for us this year, and, you know, I'm not really complaining about it. Steve, it's still a lot of problems connecting on the deep passes. Is it just wrong routes that we're throwing? What's going on there? The combination of a bunch of things. Uh, you know, the coverages they're running, um, you know, they're sticking with our guys, uh, you know, sometimes protection breaks down, sometimes, uh, you know, overthrow or underthrow it, uh, you know, it's just a combination of things, really, got to figure it out. Steven, Steven, the way the offense is playing, you guys are obviously 4-0, but can this team keep surviving the mistakes you guys are making there in the defense? Uh, this team? It's tough to answer that, you know. Uh, you know, hopefully we stop doing. Hopefully this is the last week we play like this offensively. But uh, you know, to answer your question, you know, I don't think we can survive playing like that. You know, we we know we got to get better, and you know, we just got to start practicing better, and you know, getting better every single day, and you know, mentally and physically, and just you know, getting our uh, head together. True. What does it mean when you have a guy like Melvin Ingram who come in and really make some big plays and has scored, you know, several defensive touchdowns this year? Does so that kind of give you relief when you know you've got a guy that can come in and just kind of help back you up and put some points on the board when you guys are struggling like that? Oh, definitely. I mean, anytime you have a defensive score or a special team score, you know, it definitely takes a lot of pressure off the offense. You know, I think everybody knows that. Um, you know, our defense played great. I think they allowed 80 some yards this tonight. So, you, know, you can't say enough about the performance they had tonight. You know, hopefully you continue to do that uh, every, you know, week, week in and week out. And we just got to get the offense uh, together now. Stephen, were you frustrated to be pulled, and do you feel like you're right back in a competition now, or do you think you're still the starter at this point? Uh, you know, I don't really know. I, they, you know, they want to get Connor, uh, you know, some playing time, some experience, and you know that's normal. Uh, you know, we had the game pretty much sealed at the end, uh, so I'm not really frustrated about it at all. Still, you still feel like the starter. I, I mean, you have to ask Coach that. Where you believe I? How do you rate you guys' ability to stretch the field at this point in the season? I'm sorry? How you rate you guys' ability on the offensive stretch the field? I mean, we got to get better. You know, that's really the only way to answer that. Uh, you know, we got to make more plays and get the ball in the playmaker's hands. Anything else for Steve? One thing? Yeah. Can you just talk about the screen right before the half and how that gave a little momentum going into the break? Yeah, anytime you can score in a two-minute situation, or for you know, our, our sake, we scored in 50-something like, seconds. Uh, you know, that really, you know, gives us a lot of momentum going into halftime. Uh, you know, Lattimore had a you know great run. You know, the linemen were downfield blocking, and uh, Nick Jones made a great block down there. So, you know, it was huge uh, to get up uh, 14-3 at halftime. Last question here for me. Alshon moved to number two on the all-time list for Gamecock um, reception yards. Can you talk about the magnitude of that? 
uh, you know, hopefully we get him to number one, you know, uh, that'd be, uh, you know, that's, I'm sure that's a goal of his, but, uh, you know, he's a team guy just like the rest of these guys and, you know, individual plaques and, you know, achievements aren't really that big of a deal, you know, as long as we win, it doesn't really matter.